I'm meeting a very nice young lady who's done a lot of work that I want to find out a little more about. Maybe you can tell me your name and a little bit about yourself. I'm a Waldorf kindergarten teacher and my name is Kim Hunter and I live on Salt Spring Island in British Columbia. And okay. maybe you want to know that I made a film called yes. Time to Play. Okay. And I made the film because I'm concerned about the way our society is meeting the needs or not meeting the needs of young children today. There you go. And uh, tell me, um, like, how long have you been filming and putting this all together and who is the publisher and all that? I did it all myself uh -huh. and uh, with my assistants in my classroom filming. And we were filmed in the classroom and I interviewed a public school teacher and Dr. Adam Blanning. Oh, yes. And so it involves other people's expertise as well. Uh, because I've made this really as an outreach. I think it's yeah. a concern that belongs in the community at large, not just in the Waldorf community. Yeah, yeah. And I filmed over two years, one week uh, a month in the classroom so mm -hmm. that it didn't affect the class for the whole time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have a bit of a continuation in a way, of yeah. what the children do and how they grow. In, a, in two years, children change a lot. They do. You know, so uh, uh, tell me a little bit more about the work of uh, being a kindergarten teacher. The work of being a Waldorf kindergarten teacher is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, to have the opportunity to live into the tasks of daily life that aren't really a part of our culture anymore, um, but where we can really fill the children's life with practical work so that they have a relationship uh, to ourselves and to the work that needs to be done you know, today, children believe that the food comes from the grocery store. Um, they don't have a relationship to making bread, for example. Yeah. But this is something we bake every week. We make soup every week. We eat healthy food. We grow it. A lot of it we grow ourselves or we mm -hmm. walk to nearby farms and get the produce from there. Um, of course, I live on the West Coast, so we have food more closely uh, to a year-round thing than you might in the colder right, climate. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so, uh, and also, you do all the other kind of tasks uh, that are done around the house. Oh, like, absolutely. Like Cleaning, washing, washing, uh, chopping firewood. We have a wood cook stove that heats the classroom space. Mm -hmm. um, we're outside a lot. I'm outside with my children four to five hours a day. Wow. And so we spend a lot of time in nature and playing and walking. I think even just walking is so important yeah, for yeah. the human being today. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I find uh, the parents start too soon with all the different things that you can drive, like a mm -hmm. tricycle or a bicycle or things like that. They, they also carry their children. And I think once children are mobile, they should have the opportunity to move mm -hmm. as much as possible to the level that they're capable of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so but g going back a little bit to the mm -hmm. film, um, uh, who, who is, for instance, uh, who did you, how did you publish it? How are you, how are you doing it's that? It's all self-done. I've made it myself. It cost $30,000 to make the film. Most of that was the professional editing. Mm -hmm. um, the, when one makes a film, one would find out that it costs about $1,000 a minute to make a film, but because mm -hmm. I was in the studio the whole way, I did a lot of the work myself. Mm -hmm. That's a 43-minute film mm -hmm. and it cost thirty thousand dollars now I'm beginning the process of subtitling isn't there um, uh, didn't I see um, go fund me on the internet no no you haven't you haven't even done that no wow that's I mean that's how a lot of people do the, they do a go fund me on the on the internet so it's true I had one of my families at the time when I was filming actually offered money but I felt mm -hmm that then I would be obliged to maybe represent mm -hmm. their children in a particular light. Mm -hmm. That, that wasn't mm -hmm. spoken. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I felt like this left me the most free to say what I wanted yeah, to say yeah, in the context yeah. of a film. Which, of course, uh, Hollywood, I mean, can you imagine the strictures that are around things <laughs> that yeah. you can really not say what you really need to say? Right. You know, so freedom as far as uh, filming is concerned, it's a very important. It was important to me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned and, out. And it, it isn't a problem finding uh, a company to do the editing and all that? 
Oh, I hired somebody who works has a studio. He owns the studio, and mm -hmm. I went and uh, he wasn't allowed to edit unless I was there. Oh because yes, because he has no relationship to early childhood education or Waldorf pedagogy. Well, that's what I was wondering about. Mm -hmm. How do you actually do that? So you 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 were there and say cut All here and cut the way. there. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, so, so now that you're here, of course, tell me a little bit about you coming here uh, to, to the Toronto area and what is your experience here and why are you here? This is the third time I've been here with my film, so it seems like it's been an annual thing now for three years. Um, but this particular tour started because I was invited to speak at the International Play Association Conference, which was hosted in Canada this year, er, in Calgary. Oh, okay. And so I went to Calgary, then I spent a whole week working at Little Lions in Thunder Bay. Oh, now that's I'm a Waldorf uh, initiative. It's a Waldorf daycare initiative. I think with Arlene Thorne. Um, Arlene's involved in the teacher training yeah, there, yes, yeah, and yeah. she has started now at Waldorf Kindergarten as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah that's what I thought. So, so you've visited there and now down and here? I, and I've been there three, three sequential years also working with the students in a different way, the student teachers in a different oh, way. Wow. And uh, now I'm here and I'll be presenting in the greater Toronto area for the next 10 days or so, and then I'll move down to Ottawa where I'm presenting at a nursery school teachers conference um, on the 21st, and then I fly back to the West Coast. So do you have time to add anything else in the meantime? To um, add more dates? Yeah. There are some dates opened because I was hoping to get to Quebec, but because the French translation hasn't yet been, the subtitling hasn't oh, yet yes. been completed, ah, I've yeah. ended up with some days in between. Yeah. Uh, so I have some dates available still. So would you like to come to Barrie, for I'd instance? love to come to Barrie. You know, maybe sure. we can uh, hook up and see how we can get you there. But it would have to be within the ten, next 10 days, right? No, it's the time, let me see, I come back on the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, okay. which I think might be the 10th, and I'm pretty free that 10th week. of October. Yeah. Okay, so we can maybe hook up and yeah. see. In the meantime, I'll publish it on YouTube and see Yay. who can come. Perfect. That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to us. And uh, like I say, maybe you can add a few more words about Hesperus because you have, have you been here before? I haven't been to Hesperus for a long time. I, back about 20 years ago, I interviewed, more than 20 years ago, I interviewed with Diana Hughes to... To see about coming into the teacher training here mm -hmm. and I was accepted but I lived on the west coast and and Diana said to me ah you should go and visit Dorothy Olson who's in the classroom for the right. year all right so I went to visit Dorothy and when I finished a week in her classroom I begged her to start a training on the west coast oh that's how it started I and, wondered uh, about that because uh, Dorothy Olson and I we were in a study group together ah. uh, her husband was leading it at the time Ray. So yeah. when they still lived here in Campbellville. Yeah. So yeah, wonderful. So Dorothy and Marjorie Thatcher started the training okay. together. I've been on the board of directors for more than 15 years now. Wow. Uh, I was in the first class of graduates from yeah. the West Coast Institute. And I taught at the Vancouver Waldorf School for several years. And then I moved to the island, to Salt Spring Island. Yeah, everybody seems to love Salt, Salt Spring Island. It's yes. just amazing. It is. It's nice. Yeah. So how, how do you find Hesper's now that you have? I mean, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger, and I love it. It's a beautiful space. I like yeah. the proximity to the school. Yeah. yeah. Um, the the green space between here and there, and the forest yeah. nearby. Yeah. And for those who don't know what the school means, it's the Toronto Waldorf School. Mm -hmm. Right on Bath on the corner of Bathurst and Rutherford. Yes. So in Hesper's, maybe you can do. You, can you maybe tell us what Hesper's is? It's a seniors' f place for seniors to come and live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, with with uh, um, with an anthroposophical, yeah, undertone. spiritual background. Yes. And of course, uh, not all of it, but uh, uh, quite yeah. a few. I mean, uh, we're going to have. Uh, I think uh, tomorrow, there's going to be a kind of a dedication because. Uh, 
uh, this is now over 30 years, right. 30 years old. So looking forward to that. And the school is 50 years old That's this year. Amazing. So it's amazing. It's been around amazing. this long. Amazing. I yeah. remember when we had, uh, I think it was the 20th or 30th anniversary of the mm. school. I mean, must have been 30 because, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So And it, this was in the country. Totally. Before. There was, there was yeah. a sheep farm next door. Right. I mean, and yeah. now we're surrounded by condominiums. I know. And, I know. And, yeah, yeah. A lessening of nature, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah. But uh, there's a little bit of nature around Hesper still, yeah, so totally. that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, Kim Hunter, I really enjoyed this little talk, and uh, will ho hopefully lots of people will see a film, mm -hmm. and uh, perhaps we can see what we can arrange uh, for coming to Barry. Sounds great. All right. So thank you very much. Thank you.